Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. But what's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. The following contest is a handicap match. Introducing first, from the Philippines, weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Terror Kenny Pierre. The WWE. Right. Uh, here comes one of the most entertaining teams in WWE history. Angelo Dawkins, Montez for the Street Profits. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A, a terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the all tag team champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. He got whipped into that corner. Uh-oh. Face for the turnbuckle. Oh, what a kick! right hand Panthers with it it's a Guri crashing to the floor momentum on the side of the lock yeah locks proving hard to keep up with better position now Spear. 
it's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Superstar definitely won tonight. Not bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? Fine. Understood. I'll trust the process. Now you're talking. Lee, not great. I earned the opportunity to be out there, but it didn't work out that way. But I'm happy they won and we're all champions now. You don't sound too happy. What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. What are you doing here? I'm here as a representative of the New Day, the longest tenured faction in WWE. Kind of like welcoming a new neighbor who just moved in. It's become our custom to welcome all new factions to WWE. And there's even a gift basket coming for you and your Evolution friends. Full disclosure, Retribution broke up before we could give them theirs, so we repurposed some items. Be sure to check the expiration date on those summer sausages. Thanks, I guess. I'll let the other guys know you stopped by. If you ever need any tips on how to stick together as long as the New Day has, just let me know. Faction longevity and continuity not only equal success in the ring, but also outside. Have you thought about branding opportunities? We've mainly been focused on in-ring success. You know, winning championships. Think bigger. Evolution branded suits, collared shirts, uh, pleated pants, um, shiny shoes. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> maybe your faction doesn't lend itself as well to merchandising, but maybe it's something as simple as being on the cover of the WWE 2K video game. New Day has that honor this year, but if you play your cards right, that could be evolution for the next game. Why is New Day on the cover of the game? Evolution has the Raw Tag Team Championships, and I'm Intercontinental Champion. You have... New Day is a proven commodity! We've held Tag Team Gold over ten times, and we'll get those back soon enough. Maybe I'll even take your Intercontinental Championship, too. Would be a nice moment to feature in the game's New Day Showcase mode. 
that feels like a threat. Maybe Evolution will have to pay New Day a visit too. You know, just to thank you for the kind welcome. Now that feels like a threat. But I'm kind of busy, you know, merch, game stuff. So I'm gonna go now, again, welcome, and uh... This is perfect. That's gonna look great on the game cover. Nice. New day rocks. New day rocks. New day rocks. You want to threaten us, huh? These are our titles. This isn't a game. You want to explain what the hell that was all about? You said I'm gonna be the guy someday, right? Well, I got started early and took charge of the situation. No, that's not how this works. How clear do I have to make this? I call the shots in evolution. You might be the lock, but you're not the leader. And Slade, you're not off the hook either. You went along with his stupid plan. No, you're right. I know I'm right. Have a mind of your own for once. Stop being a follower. It's what's held you back your entire career. Understood. All right, enough about that. We need to focus on these singles matches before the situation gets any worse. It'll be me against Kofi. Gabe, you've got Big E. And Locke, you're up against Xavier Woods. Don't blow this. Again. Your smile and eat your positivity up because here comes Xavier Woods. The question is, is Woods out here to compete or to play one of his six ridiculous instruments? Hey, you can multitask, Corey. Don't be a hater. The following contest. A man destined to be top dog. It's the lock. With a path to the Raw Tag Team titles hanging in the balance, the New Day's Xavier Woods will be giving the Intercontinental Champion everything he's got tonight. And it still might not be enough. Woods will need Kofi or Big E to win one of their matches to earn the New Day a Tag Team title match. Because immediately does the Lock seem to be in the thick of the action every week. You have to wonder if it'll eventually take a toll on the rookie superstar. Countered it! Just in time! Swinging neck breaker and a unique splash. Unorthodox offense. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. And Xavier Woods reverses. Oh, oh smash! And he's able to counter. to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Launching himself in the ropes. Oh, that got turned around on Woods. Big clothesline. Sliding basement for him. Top block, debilitating counter. Into the ankle here. Catches the clothesline. Big two, and he's finished. Fly. Here's the cover for the win. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Uh-oh, Spread Bar, Kuda, Cover! 
match. Now it's a test of will. at least they can say they won the match. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Match one. Well, looks like I wasn't the one who blew it. Congratulations. You did your part in trying to get us out of a situation that you stupidly got us into to begin with. All over what, some jealousy over a video game? We care about championships and evolution. Get your priorities straight. That is what I care about. Okay, well you're gonna get a chance to prove it. I got word that it's gonna be all three of us defending the championships against the New Day in a six-man tag. I look forward to showing you what I'm capable of. We will not lose. is a six-man tag team match and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship.
One of the most entertaining and successful teams in WWE, the New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's the New Day. And introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 702 pounds. Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Wood. You win these, you make a case as one of the best teams ever. If you're a fan of high-octane sports entertainment, it doesn't get any better than Evolution versus the New Day for the Raw Tag Team title. The Intercontinental Champ, Pam Bellazona, against Xavier Woods, but the New Day is coming into this six-man tag match with all the momentum. There are rumors of friction within Evolution. Let's see if that affects the outcome here tonight. And set right into the corner. becomes dangerous when he can feed off this arena's positivity. Got the tag. Got the tag. Got the legs. Damn it, Gary. Wow. Taking it off from the ropes. Oh, look at these Kawana style kicks to the face. Blatant disrespect. Is 
escape. You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See, evolution in the hurt business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. And how is that going to happen? One word, Omas. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Sure. Doesn't matter to me, because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away intercontinental champion. Okay, Locke. <laughs> we'll see. Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you, and weaken you before your title match against Omos. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't... Come on, let's go. A lot of swagger. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. And his opponent, accompanied by Gabriel Slade, from the... The Lock and Carmelo Hayes are squaring off tonight in a highly anticipated non-title match between two superstars destined for greatness. The Lock has more than just his IC title with him tonight, as Gabriel Slade will be joining him at ringside. Is Randy Orton losing trust in Lock's ability to get it done all by himself? Or maybe he sent Gabe out to keep an eye on MVP? It's hard to get inside the mind of the Viper. is 
down and down is up after a move like that. Hayes now on the offensive. Lands face first. And a quick pin attempt. And only a one count. No harm in seeing if he could finish him off quick there. As the rim trapped, and this is just next level brutality. Ah, oh, springboard. Cut out. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. He steps foot in the ring again. Appreciate him while you can, folks. He's not getting paid by the oh, Torturous move. Carmelo Hayes about to be displayed for your viewing pleasure. Springboard leg drop. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And a kick out at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent. Oof. Oh my, dragon screw. Wow, that hurt. And Locke got turned around there. Elbow smash. Oh, 
Is he? Oh my God! The miss to the eyes! The miss to the eyes! Poised and ready! Whoa! Rock has him staring at the lights. Cover! Two! Final exit. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner. La Terra Kenny Pierre. You can't say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory.